Assalamu alaikum. Uh, welcome to the Path Loss 5 training series. This topic is regarding how to create clearance report with antenna height revisions. In this video, we will see that how we can generate a clearance report on a path or a path profile, and if required, how can we revise the antennas and then we can generate a new report as per the customer requirements so let's go ahead and see how we can do it so if you are in the antenna heights a window of path loss so this window is regarding the antenna heights you can see that we have on both sides two antenna heights and we have the main path and we have two fresnel zones and this is the path profile below so if we want to see the clearance report first we have to set the clearance criteria so we can go in operations and click on set clearance criteria or we can press f8 when we will press f8 we will get this small window of clearance criteria so this window as you can see we have two criteria. the first criteria we can put any k value like we have a value of k of 1.33 and we put a criteria that this should be 100 percent clear for the second criteria we put the k value of 0 0.72 and we put the criteria that this should be 60 percent clear and then we give the frequency of the link so you can put your customer criteria here and the frequency on which you are working so when we will click on this check mark this criteria will be set so then we can generate the clearance report so if we go in report and then click on clearance now this is the clearance report now as we can see also in this report our second fresnel zone is passing through the terrain here at almost 10 kilometers so if we check this report on the bottom edge of the report we can find that there are four points where the fresnel zone of our incident ray is crossing the terrain at a distance of 10.05, 10.1, 10.15, 10.2 kilometers with these elevations. And here also we can see that this is affecting the second criteria. So our first criteria is clear, but our second criteria has a small problem on four points. So we can revise our antenna heights and uh, here we can see if we go back to the antenna heights window and we can we have two ways either we can put auto if we put auto then path loss will automatically adjust the antennas so that they pass this criteria but uh, we can put a manual number as well it depends upon uh, our guidelines how we want to use this uh, how we want to revise the heights both ways are fine I mean you can manually put the heights because you have control over it or you can ask pass loss but pass loss will give you a very optimized value with a value which will barely clear the criteria so here we put a very big value from our side 40 and 40 and then we run the clearance report again and now as you can see from this picture as well that both the fresnel zones are very clear and here also we can see that there is nothing mentioned here which means that both criteria are fully clear so this clearance report has no snag nothing and uh, we can submit it to the customer so i hope you will like this video and uh, please 
uh, share and comment about the video if you want to contact me then you can contact me through my email or through LinkedIn and uh, here you can subscribe to my YouTube channel so if you subscribe then you can like or comment my videos and you can know if whenever a new video is available so keep sharing keep liking keep in contact see you in my next video inshallah assalamu alaikum